Yo, it's Romeo here. How are we all doing? Hope everyone is all cool and everything. Everyone's all alright. What I'm going to be talking about is the um, the pen that you're going to be seeing me use um, in some of my drawings, the new mechanical uh, pencil that I'm using. It's a really good pencil to use. Um, the uh, it's You won't be able to buy it from any shop or anything like that. The um, My sister's husband, he uh, makes pens for a hobby. And um, I asked him if he could do like a uh, mechanical pencil, and um, he made this one here for me. That uh, is absolutely gorgeous. This pen, you know, it's really, really. I don't know if you can see it properly or not, but you know, really got a nice little weight to it and everything. You know, it works perfectly. He he makes the whole lot he does. So he gets the materials. They usually come in like a block they do and he files it all down, sands it all down and you know waxes it all up, polishes it all up and puts all the little bits and pieces onto it. Great little nib on it as well and he made this pen pencil for me. The good thing about this pencil or the most amazing thing about this pencil is the actual wood that it's actually made from. Now if you can just about see it but the wood that's in that pencil in the centre there. I'm going to read from what how old this wood is, is you're not going to believe how old this wood is. So I'm just going to give you a little rundown of the interesting facts about the pencil. The oak tree from which this pen is made died nearly 6,500 years ago in what is now Derry Cannon Bog, a Crow Ross common in Ireland. With this tree cast its shadow over the earth, man was just emerging from the Stone Age. Mankind, mankind was in a tr transitional stage of the Age of Copper. It would be another 900 years before the technique of adding tin to make bronze would be discovered, and man would enter the Bronze Age, 3500 BCE. The Iron Age was another 3500 yes, years yet in the future. Man at this time was essentially a nomadic creature planting crops and the domestication of animals had just begun. The wood in this pencil predates all the, ancient, the great ancient civilizations, ancient Egypt. The Sahara Desert was just grass and woodland with the abundance of lakes teeming with life. Lord Chico of the Americas, the Shang Dynasty of ancient China. The wood, in this pen the wood in this pencil was living and breathing 1700 years before the first pyramids were built in Egypt and 1500 years before Celtic tribes set about building the first phase of Stonehenge in Wiltshire. The ultimate irony is that the wood in this pencil came from an oak tree that thrived before writing had even, even been invented. It is normally accepted that the history began when that the means to record events was invented. So in a very rare, real sense, this pencil is not just part of history, it is part of prehistory. And I'm very proud to be using it, you know, that was given to me. Um, it was tested, it was as well, in universities in Belfast in 2017. It dates back to the year 4464 BCE. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.